Hello everyone. Today we're going to be dealing with uh, the taper lock. The taper lock is used to secure pulley and they secure the shaft. Taper locks is made mostly made of uh, cast iron. So they are very, very brittle and because they are made from cast, from cast iron, they are very brittle and can snap and destroy if dismantled um, inappropriately. In today's edition, I am going to uh, demonstrate how to remove a taper lock from a shaft of an electrical motor. As you can see here, we have different sizes for different um, applications or different sizes of shaft and different sizes of motor. For different force, it has if it's different for each for different forces. We have uh, the diameters are different. So and uh, the consist in the in the taper lock. In the in the bush, the taper lock bush, and uh, they have these threaded. They have three three threaded holes here. There's one threaded hole here. There's one here, and there's another one here. So in order to remove, in order to remove the the bush, the taper lock bush, we have to. Tighten this one. No, we have to remove them. Remove these two. Remove these two, and we put it. And we put one here. Now, as we tighten it, it's going to shift this one forward. That's I will demonstrate now. So this one is not on anything, but it's going to do. It's going to perform. I think it's going to be sufficient to do it. So you, first of all, you have to have the. The right allen key and uh, you dismantle the knot the the bolt and then take the second one and you put here in the center so as you're tightening it the motor the the bush will be lifted so the taper lock will lift will lift from the bush. So once we tighten it, tighten it on this one, on the third one, where this line will help it to shift from the shaft. It will give it a play, a slight play. This will give it a slight play. On the shaft and then as you're tightening it will start coming forward as you can see now it's come forward well i'm going to demonstrate it now with it's come forward it's come out that's what it looks like so you can just take it off and then we are going to demonstrate this with that shaft. When you put it, you have to make sure that he aligns the hole, the three holes aligns, so that when you tighten it, as you tighten here. Thing can, one, thing, one thing that can help to align it very well is to put a lot, a lot of grease. So when you put a lot of grease, it can slide easily. So tighten it back on. So 
So this is how it's supposed to be when it's on a shaft. So I'm going to suppose that this is on an electrical motor, which is um, pulling, this is a pulley, and it's transmitting force, it's transmitting rotational energy. The rotation, it's moving, uh, moving a load. Remember that if we want to change this belt, we have to, um, first of all, I'll release the tensioner so that the belt will slack. So once the belt slacks, we can remove the belt. And uh, if we want to remove the taper lock, the bush, as a sprocket, well, um, we can... Um, We just have to loosen these two, which are holding it, and insert one of the bolts here. So I'm going to find the right Allen key, hold it, loosen this one. It's not going to move. No, it's in the second one. Then you insert it here. Set it here. And as you are tightening it to go in, and then to start pushing the taper lock forward. When it can no longer go, you tighten it some more, and you can see that it is beginning to give. So it's gone in. So now we can pull it out. You might have to pry with something. Pull it out. You just have to be gentle with it. Because this is cast iron and it's prone to break easily. Okay, so it's come out. You have to align it, make sure you get the tray. Three align the three holes aligned together. Before you get it, before it's correct, it has to be aligned. So assuming you want to change the motor, to put it back, you don't have to, you just have to Put a lot of, enough grease here. Put enough grease around here so that you can slide it and you put enough grease inside. So the grease really helped to make this very easy to manipulate, maneuver. Put enough grease, you won't have problems. Because it will slide quicker. Put enough grease in everywhere, including here. So, this can move easier because of the grease, it can move easier inside you know now it's aligned so if we want to put it back on we don't have to we can just leave the notes like this we can leave the the bolts like this and we just push it in to slide in then we tighten it to use this to hold it to the shaft 
so you can put some glue here as well so that you can slide easier you know so align it with the key so this is the key and that's the key way make sure that the key way is aligned with the key and then push it backwards If you put it inside, it shouldn't be a problem, you know. Put the notes inside, yeah. the bolts inside. See, even if it's not aligned, when you tighten the bolts, this will come. The the bush will come forward. So when you tighten it down, the bush will come forward and align. Is that initially to look as if it's not aligned. Once you tighten them, the bush will align. So, so this is it. It is what it is. Stuff. It's not gonna go anywhere. So. To remove it, like I said before, remove this one, remove this one, then transfer one of them to the center and tighten. And then it starts to move about. With a little pry bar, you can do it. Remove it without heating. Remember, if you hit this with a hammer, it will shatter. You have to buy another one. So, that's it for today. See you on the next one. This is a tipper lock, so that's why I have to remove this two and then the set one here to tighten. You push it and then you pull it back. So it's the condition.